Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm watching episode 10 of Monster Girl Doctor. Last episode, we found out that uh, the uh, Dragon Lady has a very serious disease, probably the most serious disease that we've seen so far, uh, and it's going to require an extremely invasive surgery where they literally have to reattach, like, veins and stuff, so... Yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, also, like I mentioned at the end of last episode, it definitely was... I mean, why, it was the best fan service moment because she's one of the better looking characters and the reactions from her were amazing. But at the same time, it was also the most disturbing because while this entire thing was happening, she had like this pulsating tumor on her chest at the same time. Like it just... I was, I was conflicted. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they have to convince her to actually go with the surgery. So um, it's probably going to happen. I don't think it's going to take more than one episode for that. Uh, but I wonder who the last character is going to be. Also, we're starting here in the middle of the like fountain area. Uh, so I hope we can see the mermaid girl again. And also, I really don't like how they're bringing back like the characters I actually don't care about at all. Like the... Like the spider lady. Like she, God, no. Please stop. We need the the harpy girl back, and we need definitely the mermaid girl back, because those are, the, the, they were the best characters, okay, up until now. Um, Dragon girl is pretty great, too. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I really love her design. She's probably like the best designed character so far. You know, if, if we're not including the tumor. Cyclops. Okay, so we're just meeting somebody else then. Well, another terrible design. It's a, it's especially distressing because oh god, because uh, one of the best designs in. The better Monster Musume is the Cyclops girl. She looks great in that. But this one, oh god, no, they downgraded her quite a bit. She looks really bad. Well, I can understand why you'd have stiff shoulders. Posh is probably going to get worse over time, too, and there's going to be a lot of unpleasantness later as well. But that has nothing with being a Cyclops. Getting slapped with a hand that big, that, uh... <laughs> So I guess they have to make specialized tools for like the specific surgery they're doing. It's 
So they have, they probably have like concepts of like the things they're going to be doing and like coming up with an idea for a new kind of tool to do those things. Well, it is a bit weird that they're treating Cyclops like dwarves. This is typically the dwarves' job. You wouldn't think that a Cyclops would be particularly good at uh, work that requires a lot of depth perception. It worked better in Monster Musume, where she was a sniper, so she had to be looking down a scope and probably had like really large resolution vision. I guess you could say the same thing about these Cyclops. High resolution um, vision, but with things that are close up, you do need depth perception more than looking at really far away things that don't have pretty much any parallax effect. Also, it's weird that the, the tears are coming out on both sides of her big eye, which means she has two tear ducts in her eye. She said Aranya. Ew, her like back part is hairy too. Ugh. I'm sure he's going to be able to do something. Wow. Very nice. Also, it seems she was blue back then, too, so I guess her changing colors are just in my imagination. Also, it really does seem that she has no uh, nipples at all, so there's actually no reason for her to even wear clothes, to be honest, in terms of, you know, her design. Also, seriously, this flesh golem character looks really disturbing like i used to think zombina looked weird and kind of disturbing but this one takes it to another level also when i say araña is spider in spanish i don't that's not the way that, you're, that you spell it in spanish it's just the way it sounds God, I would have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Trying to get away from her would be even di more difficult than I thought. Those just look like pretty regular tools to me, unless they didn't have this kind of stuff before. Yeah, you just can't get away from her. <sighs> She's a horrifying character. And I wish she didn't exist.
So his test was on a live subject. Yeah, no. You can't realize something that isn't true. Oh, she's back. Nice. Seems she's just tired. Oh, no, of course. Uh. I've been looking for uh, the right opportunity to say, did something good happen? But I just haven't been able to do that with the name Meme. Jesus Christ. Do we really need her backstory? You would think, though, that blacksmiths would have gotten into that profession because they wanted to make weapons. Come on, please, just go with them. Of course, you had to give them an extremely... Oh, God, I hate you so much. Oh, shut up. Seems she has a wedgie.
You would think this would be common knowledge amongst her race. You know, a lot of these things that he explains should be common knowledge amongst the their own race whenever he explains it to them. Well, at least that part of you is, uh, nice. Admirable. So what did that machine do before she started using it for that? She seems pretty passionate and outspoken now. Oh, come on. You know, that spider lady, I really hate how she talks because she's like almost a female version of like Roswell from ReZero, who I really despise. No, that's probably the least bad part. <laughs> okay, that was funny.
There seems to be a little more after this, so I'm going to see. What is that? Did we see that before? So I actually really didn't think this was going to take an ep like more than an episode to get that done, but seems that's what happened. They actually decided to no, you know what? This thing we're doing, we'll just put that aside. We'll just introduce a new character. We'll have a new problem. Just put the most stress, the most, most, um, what's the word? Imperative, uh, thing on our list. Just put it to the side while we do this. That, like, that was completely unnecessary, I think. Now we just went by an entire episode that even addressing like the biggest concern of last episode. This didn't have to be an episode. They could have just already had the tools for it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I didn't really like this episode, to be honest. We got another downgraded version of a Monster Girl from Monster Musume. Yet again. Uh, and I just, I don't know. I didn't feel there was really a point to it. All right. Well, maybe I guess the point could have been that, like the reason that the surgery was thought to be really difficult was because they didn't have proper tools for it. But then they just, I mean, I don't know feel it's a problem that kind of solved itself without the any real like like the main characters weren't really relevant at all but at least they shouldn't have been yeah we just didn't like it uh the personality of that monster girl is kind of uh, kind of entertaining but uh that's pretty much the only part of her that's appealing, I guess. All right, well, hopefully we'll get back to the Dragon Lady next episode. I'm mostly looking forward to her. We still haven't seen the uh, the mermaid in such a long time, which keeps downgrading the, uh, the quality of this series. The less she's in it, the less good it is. Uh, though we at least got to see... The bird girl once so that was a slight little you know improvement to the episode but yeah that's it for this one thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time bye